नमस्ते लर्नर्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कैपेसिटेंस एंड कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटेंस और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल कैपेसिटेंस कैपेसिटेंस इज द एबिलिटी टू स्टोर द इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्ज बाय द कंडक्टर द कैपेसिटी टू स्टोर द इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्ज बाय द कंडक्टर इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल कैपेसिटेंस the capacity the capacity to store the electrical charge the electrical charge by a conductor by a conductor is called capacitance is called capacitance very simple definition and this charge is given to a system suppose this is a system so conductor suppose and we want to add charge then one question is here how it is added suppose that suppose that this is the contact point of the conductor suppose that this is the contact point this is the contact point okay contact point then electron goes from the this conductor from this electron goes electron goes any electron lose by the conductor then positive charge comes on the sphere just a charged body is in contact with the neutral body then the electrons moves from this body to this body and it becomes a positively charged and positively charged body q is directly proportional to v is it means the charge increases charge increases the electric potential also increases means charge is directly proportional to electrical potential okay this is very simple concept when a neutral body is in contact with the positive charged body then electron moves from the this body to this body and it gets a positively charged this positive charge uh, comes appears on this charge or this uh, after this after some time say after the uh, transfer of electrons it becomes neutral and it becomes a positively charged there are two phenomena is very important one uh, for the Uh, transfer of charge one is the conduction and other is the induction here conduction takes place and due to conduction uh, charge is uh, appear on the neutral body and this charge increases the electric potential and it is directly proportional okay and if proportionality is removed one constant it comes back comes and this constant is, of proportionality is called c is the proportionality constant pro proportionality proportionality constant okay and known as capacitance known as capacitance very simple yani capacitance is the capacity to store the charge by the conductor this is c capacitance capacitance is the capacity to store the charge its si unit is farad not farad farad and it is big unit that is why b can write it as a micro farad pico farad nano farad this one is the nano farad mu f means micro farad this one is the micro farad this one is the micro farad and nf is the pico uh, nano farad nano farad and pf pf means pico farad pico farad one micro farad is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 farad one nano farad equal to 10 to the power 9 minus 9 farad one pico farad equal to 10 to the power minus 12 farad and this is the unit and cgs unit what about the cgs unit then cgs unit in cgs unit suppose that c equal to q by v one thing also here also written as coulomb per volt coulomb per volt coulomb per volt also 
और कुलम पर वोल्ट दिस इज देन हेयर इज आल्सो कुलम पर वोल्ट दिस इज द कुलम पर वोल्ट वन कुलम इज इक्वल टू थ्री वन कुलम बाय वन वोल्ट एंड वन कुलम इज इक्वल टू थ्री इनटू टेन टू द पावर नाइन ईएसयू ऑफ चार्ज बाय वन वोल्ट इक्वल टू वन बाय थ्री हंड्रेड स्टैट वोल्ट and it becomes 1 by 300 a stat volt a stat volt then it becomes 9 into 10 to the power 11 esu of capacitance and this one is the 1 coulomb and in 1 coulomb per volt this is the conversion and we used in previous lecture 1 volt equal to 1 by 300 stat volt this is the about the uh, capacitance here two things are important one is the how charge develop on the neutral body and second is the unit of capacitance and formula is q equal to cv okay and now the as sphere as sphere as conducting sphere of radius is r and charge is q Then potential, potential of potential at the surface of a sphere, at the surface, at the surface of, at the surface of conductor, yes, sphere is equal to one by four pi r sine naught q by r. This is very simple. V equal to one by four pi r sine naught q by r. And since q equal to c v. Then C equal to Q by V means Q by one by four pi epsilon naught Q by R Q Q cancel and that's why C equal to four pi epsilon naught R. This is very important. C is four pi epsilon naught R. This is very important. If it is in CGS, then C equal to R. Very simple. In CGS, suppose that. In CGS, in CGS, one by four pi r sine naught equal to one. Okay, and that's why C equal to R. But in CGS, in CGS, careful about this. And this is the suppose we want to find the capacitance of earth. Capacitance of earth. Capacitance of earth. Generally, capacitance of earth is infinite. How we consider potential of earth is zero. Okay, then C equal to Q V means Q by zero equal to infinite. Then capacitance of earth is infinite. But we consider consider a earth is a consider a uh, consider earth is a. Earth is a conducting a sphere. Conducting a sphere. Suppose and radius is equal to sixty four hundred kilometer. Means six point four into ten to the power six meter. And we want to find the cap capacitance of this type of conductor. Consider कि हैं. Suppose माने हैं कि एक ऐसा sphere है पृथ्वी इतना बड़ा जो कंडक्टिंग हो जिस पर स्टोर कर सके चार्ज हम मान लिए कितना उसका कैपेसिटेंस होगा जैसे यहां कैपेसिटेंस निकाले उसी तरह से देव द कैपेसिटेंस इज फोर पाइव सेवन नॉट और कैपिटल आर इज इक्वल टू वन बाई नाइन इंटू टेन टू दी पावर नाइन इंटू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन टू दी पावर सिक्स एंड दिस वन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर बाई नाइन इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री And you calculate this one in seven one one microfarad. This is very surprising result. Why? A a sphere whose size is as like a earth, then capacitance of this earth is only seven one one microfarad, and this is very 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 small charge, very small. so capacitance and these capacitances are generally 
suppose that we need 711 microfarad uh, capacitance then where it is used nothing here one more thing is also important suppose this here from this c is equal to if sin and not is equal to if sin not equal to c by r dimensionally c by r actually if sin not equal to you can write about the you can write if sin not is equal to c by 4 pi r suppose that but dimensionally it is not used then farad per meter farad by meter then farad per meter is also unit of is also unit of which if silent not this is the new thing that's why i have noticed here this is the new thing if silent not is the um, other unit of if silent, other unit of which one is traded farad per meter if silent not is c by 4 pi r square, 4 pi is number, it has no unit and that's why C is farad, R is meter, that is why farad per meter is the unit of epsilon naught. This is very important for the objective purpose. The capacitance of earth like object has only 711 microfarad. That's why a device is important to store the charge and that device is called capacitor. That device is called capacitor. Capacitor is a device that stores electrical energy in an electrical field. Actually, capacitor is the device which stores electrical energy in the form of electric field or electric charge also. And capacitor is the arrangement of two metallic conductors. This conductor is called coating. This is called coating, coatings. So that when one conductor is connected to the earth, the other conductor has to ability to store a large amount of charge. It is the arrangement of two parallel plates or two spherical plates or cylindrical plates. Depends upon which type of capacitor you have. Then the capacitor is the arrangement of two conductors known as OT okay and the other conductor has the ability to store the charge when one is earth -based. suppose that you see here principle of capacitor how it is made first of all insulated plates are considered and it is on which charge is given fully charged Fully charged means maximum value, maximum value, you can charge a, a, a insulated conductor maximum, means no, nothing is, no charge is added further. This is the maximum capacity of the charge to a store. This is a step one, a step one, maximum charge is given, maximum charge is given, charge is given on this plate on this plate insulated plate insulated conductor you know insulated conductor maximum charge us de dena next step number 2 step 2 this maximum charge plate is one here and another neutral body neutral charge is bring near to this then induction equal amount of charge is induced on this surface and equal amount of charge reside this is called induction this is called induction and this is rearrangement or recidation recidation this is the induction due to induction negative charge is appear on one surface and positive charge appear on the other surface okay just bring this is the name the name is plate a and the plate b plate a is charge and plate b is neutral this is the plate a and plate b is neutral body bring near to the charge body then one surface is negatively charged and other surface is positively charged means plate b is plate b which is neutral 
which is neutral neutral bring near to bring near to bring near to charge plate bring charge plate this is very simple bring near to charge plate then one surface is negatively charged and other surface is positively charged then step number 3 final step step number 3 this step minus 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 equal amount of charge 4 this one 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and this is the step number 3 this plate is now earth earth means potential of this is 0 ok then this is the at high potential this is at low potential hence electron goes from lower potential to higher potential electron and this becomes all R neutral and the fourth step is a capacitor just like electron is removing from this and this charge and this charge is neutralized these all charge are neutralized due to the earth and finally is here capacitor is formed formed how suppose that again once first plate A is fully charged and step 2 bring the neutral body near to the charged plate then at one surface negative charge appears and other face positive charge is appear due to this result the potential of plate A the potential of A goes decreasing potential of A below why this is the plus charge this is the minus charge is the potential plus hoga or is the potential minus hoga the is part jo resultant potential hoga wo kya karega goes down karega potential goes down is ka value ya lower down ya lower down is ka value lower karega yani ki jab lower down hua to aap kuch amount of charge isko de sakte hain aur yahan to pura full tha यहां आपको चार्ज नहीं ले सकता था लेकिन जैसे ही नेगेटिव प्लेट इसके नजदीक में क्रिएट हुआ तो इसका पोटेंशियल गिरा और पोटेंशियल गिरने के कारण अब कुछ चार्ज इसमें और ऐड कर सकते ठीक और जैसे ही कुछ चार्ज और ऐड करेंगे तो फिर से नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल नेगेटिव चार्ज यहां जनरेट करेगा और नेगेटिव चार्ज जैसे जनरेट किया तो और पोटेंशियल यहां गिरेगा तो और चार्ज इसमें आप ऐड कर देंगे ऐड करते जाएंगे and this process is continuous and within a second it is completely a fully charged and here also suppose this one is the finally only the positive charge body finally this one is the charge body this one is the charge body and here is the only negative charge negative charge this is the a step 4 and this becomes a capacitor this is the other one. means the cap the charge on this surface is increased this surface is increased this surface is increased this surface is increased why increased the mass of charge the capacitor this one is the capacitor this one is the capacitor this one is also capacitor. Capacitor is also known as condenser. Okay. It is also known as condenser. Huh? The, which is used in the fan, AC fan. And this is the capacitor. This one is also capacitor. The value of this capacitor is 3.3 microfarad. The value of this capacitor is uh, actually 4.5 microfarad. This one very small and it becomes 4.4 microfarad and this is the condenser and uh, it is also a uh, um, capacitor uh, this has 3.15 microfarad just you see it this is the capacitor just I use AC current this one is AC current and I am charging it one is the plus and other is the minus polarity capacitor has a polarity 
plus and minus and in few second it becomes maximum charge and just you see it yes the light and sound is just one again once again this one is the charge in this charging condition charging condition and at one end positive charge and other end is negative charge is stored in this phenomenon and just to touch the positive and negative charge then some light and sound generated this one okay and after that nothing nothing happens and that's why this arrangement is very very useful in camera also in camera plus light is totally based upon this concept okay plus light of camera because where is the charge stored and just one end is plus and other is minus and touch it then light comes out from the capacitor okay syllabus but these are not in your syllabus okay but this is very important for the competition purpose then i will discuss this also okay don't worry then first of all use the symbol how we represent the capacitor symbol just like this this is the capacitor fixed capacitor and this is the polarized capacitor this one is the polarized capacitor this is the minus and this is the plus and one is the variable capacitor this one such like this okay variable this one is the variable capacitor this is called variable capacitor variable capacitor uh, both are the fixed capacitor and this one showing the this is the polarized capacitor why because this end is curved it ind indicates the negative uh, plates and this is the uh, positive or negative both maybe but here is the negative the curve plate is negative and a straight line is positive that's why it is called polarized polarized capacitor capacitance of a capacitor increases by introducing a medium between the two plates this is known as the dielectric dielectrics means when you introduce a medium in between the plates suppose that air in air or vacuum then capacitance is c not suppose c not is the capacitance of capacitor in air capacitance of capacitor in air capacitor in air suppose and second thing is when some medium is introduced in between capacitor then it becomes c means capacitance of capacitor in a medium capacitance of capacitor in medium in medium then c is equal to k times of c not this is means capacitance of capacitor increased by k times means capacitance of capacitor capacitance of capacitor increased by k times increased by k times what is k k is dielectric constant dielectric constant and you may define k equal to c by c not you may define dielectric constant from here dielectric constant is the ratio of capacitance in medium by capacitance in air is called dielectric constant you may define dielectric is an insulator which shows some electrical behavior dielectric is an insulator dielectric is an insulator which show it is an insulator insulator which shows which shows some electrical behavior not conducting some electrical behavior electrical behavior behavior inside electric field inside electric field 
there are two types first is non polar non polar dialectics dialectics and the example of this is example dry air very good dry air mica plastic non polar dialectics a dialectic in the atoms or molecules of which the center of gravity of positive and negative charge this is the positive charge and this is the negative charge and both are coincide is called non polar dialectics novel gases all novel gases are polar sorry non polar and co2 is also non polar c2h4 is also non polar non polar means means center of gravity means center of gravity of positive charge and center of gravity of negative charge one side the second thing is polar polar dielectrics means does not coincide only difference is does not coincide does not coincide only difference is this does not coincide okay means the center of gravity suppose that this is the negative charge negative charge and this is the positive charge and it is not coincide the center of positive charge and center of negative charge does not coincide then it becomes what it becomes uh, polar molecule means polar dielectrics polar dielectrics polar dielectrics and it is h2o nh3 and wo okay this is the polar dielectrics this is the non polar dielectrics and one thing is more what is the polarization one thing is polarization what is the polarization 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 is the phenomenon in which a non polar molecules becomes polar a non polar molecule becomes polar when non polar mo molecules placed in external electric field the phenomenon in which the phenomenon in which a non polar molecule a non polar molecule becomes polar becomes polar when when non polar molecule is placed non polar molecule is placed inside inside electric field electric field it means suppose that this is the non polar molecule this is the non polar non polar dielectrics and if we this non polar molecules be placed in electric field external electric field in internal electric field then it becomes polar and this phenomenon is called this phenomenon is called polarization polarization is the phenomenon in which a non polar mo molecules become polar when non polar molecule is placed inside the electric अगर किसी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड में नॉन पोलर को रख देंगे तो वह पोलर होगा टॉपिक इज डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी ऑफ सेलेना या के एंड दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड अ स्पेसिफिक इंडक्टिव कैपेसिटी एसआईसी एंड द फार्मूला इज व्हेन यू वांट टू डिफाइन द डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट देन जस्ट यू से the ratio of electrical force between two charges in air to the medium the electric field of uh, yeah electric field of a charge in air to the medium and the capacity the ratio of capacitance in medium to air these all are the ratio and that's why this is the dimension and unit less the ratio of electric force in air by medium electric field in air by medium capacitance in medium by capacitance in air it is reversed and both are the same order and that is the dielectric constant ya relative permittivity ya sic and the second thing is dielectric strength dielectric strength is the maximum value of electric field 
the maximum value yeah potential gradient that can be applied to a dielectric without electrical break this is the important electrical breakdown main pehle bhi keh chuka hu ki koi bhi insulator tab tak insulator hai jab tak uska koi khas potential difference tak ya koi khas condition tak hi wo wo insulator hota hai jaise yahan ye keh raha hai kya ki agar hum itna electric field apply kar de maximum value apply kar de ताकि उसमें से चार्ज फ्लो करने लगे दैट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रेकडाउन मतलब इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रेकडाउन पे डायलैक्ट्रिक भी कंडक्टिंग हो जाएगा दिस इज द डायलैक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ डायलैक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ स्ट्रेंथ इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ दैट मीडियम अप टू व्हिच चार्ज कैन होल्ड अदरवाइज इट इज कंडक्टिंग एंड दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल यूनिट इज किलो वोल्ट पर मिलीमीटर एंड फ्यू मटेरियल्स आई हैव रिटेन हियर वन इज द एयर एयर इज द थ्री इंटू टेन टू दावर सिक्स वोल्ट पर मीटर पेपर इज दिस इज द डायलैक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट के और इफ सेल एन आर एंड दिस इज द डायलैक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ दिस इज द और इफ सेल एन आर दिस इज द डायलैक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ मीन्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ डायलैक्ट्रिक पोलराइजेशन ऑफ डायलैक्ट्रिक polarization of dielectric this is important suppose this is the positive plate and this is the negative plate this is the negative this is the positive the correct way to indicate the charge on both side and in this case single charge and this is the odd then electric field between the plates is constant known as e e not इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बिटवीन द प्लेट्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बिटवीन द प्लेट्स बिटवीन द प्लेट्स सपोज दैट दिस इज द सिग्मा एंड दिस इज द माइनस सिग्मा एंड हेयर इज पॉइंट वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड देन प्लस वन चार पुट हेयर एंड दिस इज द रिपल्सिव फोर्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन ई वन एंड ऑल्सो इन दिस डायरेक्शन विच इज द ई टू ओके देन टोटल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज E1 plus E2, and this is sigma by 2 epsilon naught plus sigma by 2 epsilon naught becomes sigma by epsilon naught. This is the electric field between the two plates. Now we put a glass slab in this plate. Just we put the glass slab or dielectric slab, glass slab or dielectric slab. Just dielectric slab. Okay, and part this is the dielectric slab. Suppose that fully filled. This is the blue color dielectric slab. This is the plus charge, and we have no place to write negative charge. This one is the you may draw a straight line with the help of a scale, and. This is the electric field due to the plates. This is the electric field due to the plates between the between the plates, not the outer side. This is the electric field E naught, and this is this dielectric slab is dielectric slab is polarized. This is the polarized. Polarized means plus charge, plus and minus, plus and minus, plus and minus, plus and minus. Plus and minus, plus and minus. All atoms or molecules arranged like this. Plus charge in the direction of electric field, or minus charge in opposite direction of electric field. As you see, just like this line, this line, this line, this line. This one is the neutralized, cancelled out. Only positive charge, and in this. Plus negative charge is just my induced charge minus Q. Sorry, plus. Ha, this one is okay. This one is the minus Q charge and this one is the plus Q charge. And then it, it reduced value of electric field. This is the electric field due to polarization. Electric field due to polarization. Electric field due to polarization. Due to polarization. Then net electric field is reduced value of electric. This is the reduced value of electric field. The reduced 
value of electric field means means e not minus e p e not minus e p this is equation one एक और फिर समझा देते हैं कि अगर किसी डायरेक्ट्रिक स्लैब को किसी भी एक्सटर्नल फील्ड में रखते हैं तो चार्ज क्या होता है पोलराइज होता है मतलब पॉजिटिव चार्ज जो है इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड में हो जाएगा और निगेटिव चार्ज जो है वो अपोजिट चला जाएगा जिसके कारण से यहां एक इंड्यूस चार्ज क्रिएट करेगा उसको हम लोग माइनस क्यू कर देंगे और इधर जो है ये प्लस क्यू ये माइनस क्यू प्लस क्यू कारण एक इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डेवलप करता है दिस इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू पोलराइजेशन एंड ये जो इस साइड जो नेट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इस डायरेक्शन में है ई नॉट और ये डायरेक्शन में है ई पी इसलिए ई जो बना वो हुआ ई नॉट माइनस ई पी दिस इज वेरी सिंपल ई नॉट माइनस ई पी दिस इज द पोलराइज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई नॉट इज सिग्मा बाई साइलेंट नॉट एज यू नो सिग्मा बाई एफ सेलोन और यू मे राइट इट एफ सेलोन ई नॉट फर्स्ट एंड दिस इज द सिग्मा पी बाई सेलोन इक्वेशन नंबर सेकेंड दिस इज ई नॉट माइनस सिग्मा पी सिग्मा पी मीन्स सरफेस पोराइज सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी सिग्मा पी इज पोराइज सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी पोलराइज सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी चार्ज डेंसिटी ओके ओके देन वी हैव मोर स्पेस वी वांट देन वन थिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट द ई नॉट इज सिग्मा द वन फॉर्मूला इज इंपॉर्टेंट आई एम गेट रिटेन हेयर ई नॉट इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा बाय इप्सिलन नॉट यू रिमेंबर इट एंड नाउ वी वांट टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ जस्ट लाइक यूजिंग ई इक्वल टू ई नॉट माइनस सिग्मा पी बाई सेल नॉट ओके एंड वन थिंग पोलराइजेशन डेंसिटी पी पोलराइजेशन डेंसिटी इंड्यूस्ड डायपोल पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इज कॉल्ड इंड्यूस्ड डायपोल पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इज कॉल्ड पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इज कॉल्ड पोलराइजेशन डेंसिटी पोलराइजेशन डेंसिटी ओके पोलराइजेशन डेंसिटी इज कैपिटल पी एंड डायपोल मूवमेंट इज स्मॉल पी स्मॉल पी इज डायपोल मूवमेंट डायपोल मूवमेंट एंड कैपिटल पी इज द पोलराइजेशन डेंसिटी ए इज एरिया ऑफ प्लेट और डायलैक्टिक स्लैब डाइलैक्ट्रिक स्लैब डी इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन प्लेट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन प्लेट देन क्यू इंटू आई इंटू डी इज टोटल इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल टोटल इंड्यूस्ड इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल इंड्यूस्ड इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल डायपोल of dielectric slab of dielectric slab in electric field in electric field this is miss uid then polarization density is total this is the polarization density polarization density means total induced dipole Induced dipole by to volume of slab, volume of dielectric slab, dielectric slab means Q I D by A into D. This is D and D cancel, and this becomes sigma P. The main important thing here is capital P is equal to sigma P. And by this formula from equation from equation two, E is equal to E not minus P by sigma. This is important result. Sigma P may be written as P, and that's why I am 
using these all things for the finding the p by what if silent p by if silent here clearly you can see capital p is equal to sigma p sigma p is the polarized surface charge density and now electrical susceptibility electrical susceptibility electrical susceptibility electrical susceptibility it is given by psi chi this is the 22nd letter of greek there are 24 letters in greek alphabets and this is the 22nd and this is known read as the chi psi psi chi this is electrical susceptibility then according to this the polarization density is directly proportional to reduced value of electric field this is the this is the law polarization density is polarization density is density is directly proportional to directly proportional to reduced value of reduced value of electric field electric field this is very simple field means p directly proportional to e if proportionality is reduced then one constant psi one is epsilon and e comes okay then this is the putting this value in equation theory then from equation theory it becomes e is equal to e not minus in place of p we put x epsilon e upon epsilon epsilon is cancel out and it becomes e not minus psi e and this is just take left side and this becomes e not then this is e 1 plus j is equal to e not and therefore 1 plus j is equal to e not by e as you know this becomes k then this is the relation between electrical susceptibility and dielectric constant this is very important this is the this is the relation between relation between dielectric constant and dielectric constant and electrical susceptibility and j in short this is main result 1 plus j is equal to k okay then phenomenon once again i uh, just explain aap a glass slab ko do charge plate ke beech mein rakhte hain तो उसके उसका जो एटम्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स है वो पोलराइज हो जाता है मतलब एक साइड प्लस चार्ज दूसरे साइड माइनस चार्ज अरेंज हो जाएगा जिसके वजह से ग्लास स्लैब के अंदर में इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कुछ हो जाएगा और बाहर में कुछ रहेगा लेकिन जब नेट निकाले हैं इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दिस इज द रिड्यूस्ड वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एक्सटर्नल ई नॉट है अंदर में ईपी है दोनों को माइनस कर देंगे तो निकल जाएगा E0 minus EP and just like proof as we go and this is the 1 plus J is equal to K. The next topic is parallel plate capacitor. Consider two plates as like this, as like this and another plate as like this. A is the area of plate. A is area of plate. And D is the distance between these two plates. D distance between two plates. Distance between two plates. And as you know, E0 is the electric field between plates. Electric field between plates and as you know it is equal to sigma upon epsilon naught if air is present means we have discussed a uh, uh, 
just like uh, first case in air means there is no medium in between, between the plates there is air or vacuum as you wish then sigma by epsilon naught and this one is the positively charged and this one is the negatively charged here is the negatively charged here is the positive charge plus q and this one is the minus q a is area of plate and b is the potential difference between potential difference between potential difference between the plates between plates between plates very simple very simple derivation and very this is very important every year it is asked and this is the v equal to the as you know e equal to dv by dr and then dv equal to what e dr similarly v is equal to e d e means e not i consider e not then here is e not e not d and e not is sigma by epsilon not into d and from relation ya from equation ya from physical equation or relation as you know q equal to cv then c equal to q by v then q is q and v is suppose that this one is the q by a epsilon not into d then here is q by a epsilon not and d is here okay q q cancel out then c equal to epsilon not a by d and that's why it is also called c not c not is capacitance of parallel plate capacitor in air c not is c not is capacitance capacitance of capacitor in air in air this is very simple result epsilon not which is equal to c not equal to epsilon not a by d this is the value of capacitance as you know the c not is inversely proportional to d means if you pull apart each other then capacitance decreases and if if you uh, increase the area then capacitance increases and if you want to change the medium c equal to c not k means the cap the value of capacitance becomes k times of the medium and the second thing is everything is just partially filled i want to derive the relation the same relation in case to partially filled partially filled dielectric partially filled dielectric dielectric this is the partially filled partially filled means just a small section just like t in t there is the dielectric and there is t a small then the outer side electric field here is the electric field is e suppose that e and in this electric field is e not here is the e and here is the e not e is the reduced value of electric field or e not is the external electric field and then the v is potential difference between the plates potential difference between the plates okay then is equal to one is the e not e not d minus t plus this one is the e t as you know e equal to dv by dr dv by dr then dv equal to e into dr and that's why i am written here e not d minus t d minus t means this is the t and this is the d then this part and this part both are d means this is the d1 this is the d d2 then d1 plus d2 is d1 plus d2 is d minus t then e not potential difference between this area and this area and you don't confuse here is the air okay then this is the e not d minus t i into e t very simple okay then i want to take out 
common just like a e not e not then it becomes it becomes d minus t d minus t this is the t d minus t plus e by e not i into t okay then e not is sigma by epsilon not and this is the d minus t plus 1 by k as you know as you know 1 by k here is i am using here the relation <coughs> k equal to e not by e okay then 1 by k equal to e by e not this value then v equal to q by a is i will not d minus t plus t by k just this relation <coughs> sorry and from relation q equal to c v from relation q equal to c v then c equal to q by v then q is v is q by a is l not and d minus t plus t by k q q cancel out then c is equal to epsilon not a upon d minus t plus t by k one is the important result here this one is important result now i am going to explain more this value is c is equal to epsilon not a upon d minus t 1 t is common out then 1 minus 1 by k it is also written in this format and suppose if if t equal to d means fully filled fully filled then then c is equal to epsilon not a d minus t means d minus d d minus d plus d by k then becomes epsilon not k epsilon not k a by d this one and the value is you are surprised the value is uh, c equal to c equal to epsilon not a by d into k then c equal to k times of c not this is conducting slab this is the conductor this is you remember it this is the conducting slab conducting slab then inside the electric field is zero this is the main thing and similarly the potential difference between the plates potential difference between the plates between the plates is et this is the et plus e naught d minus t and this is zero then e naught sigma by epsilon naught and d minus t and this is the q by a epsilon naught and this is the uh, d minus t then d minus t written in the numerator d minus t from the relation q equal to c v q equal to c v c equal to q by v then the value is q by q by q into d minus t by epsilon not a this one is cancelled then c equal to epsilon not a by d minus t this is capacitance of capacitor when conducting slab is placed between the two plates this is if d equal to t equal to d means fully filled dielectric slab fully filled dielectric slab sorry uh, conducting slab fully filled conducting slab conducting slab then 
if the denominator of this equation becomes zero, c equal to epsilon not a by zero means it is infinite. Then capacitance of this capacitor becomes infinite when you are using a conducting slab between the plates then capacitance becomes infinite means conducting just it conduct the charge now the topic is energy stored in a charge capacitor suppose that this is a capacitor one is the positively charged suppose that some charging body is battery cell this one is the same <coughs> okay this is the key switch and you may arrange a resistor for the current when a conductor is charged its potential changes from 0 to V volt when switch is off then potential difference between these plates is 0 and that's why it is 0 and fully charged then it becomes V because this is the V work is against repulsion force means the heat अगर हम कोई चार्ट इस पे रख दे रहे हैं सपोज है ये चार्ट पहले से है और यह चार्ट जो है जिस समय हम दे रहे हैं उसमें और हम ऐड करना चाह रहे हैं dq चार्ट ये भी प्लस चार्ज है ये प्लस चार्ज और जो पहले से प्लस चार्ज है दोनों के बीच में एक रिपल्सन फोर्स लगेगा दैट्स व्हाई हियर इट इज रिटेन वगदल अगेंस्ट रिपल्सन बिटवीन द चार्ज स्टोर्ड बिटवीन द चार्ज स्टोर्ड ऑन द कंडक्टर this is important thing and this work done is stored in the form of electrostatic potential energy once again when key is switched off then potential is zero and when it is maximum then potential is v during the charging at some instant the charge is suppose q and this is charge dq and minus charge both are repelled to each other and B add forcefully on the plate and this work done is stored as a electric potential energy means DE is equal to DW simply means DW equal to DQ into V DQ is <coughs> DQ is charge added है ना? charge more charge added more charge added added when when potential is V when potential of plate is V जिस समय V potential है उस समय हम DQ charge को add कर रहे हैं this is the DQ V and V is equal to Q by C V is equal to Q by C and that's why this is written here Q by C into DQ then total potential energy is what uh, sorry dq v matlab q by c into dq 0 to capital q suppose that 0 to capital q capital q is the fully charged okay then this equation is equal to u equal to 1 by c q square by 2 from 0 to q then this potential energy is equal to 1 by 2 q square upon c this is the relation of potential energy you may convert in other form as like this q equal to c v 1 by 2 then c square v square by c c c cancel then u equal to 1 by 2 c v square this one is also used one format is also Suppose that u equal to q square by 2c, here is the q square by 2c, then c is equal to, c is equal to just like q by c means q by v, 1q and 1q is cancel out, then potential energy is 1 by 2qv. One thing here I want to explain the work done is qv total work done is qv and potential energy is 1 by 2 qv means the potential energy is decreased by 50% where it, it goes 
दिस बिकम्स फिफ्टी परसेंट मतलब वकडन हम कर रहे हैं क्यों भी और पोटेंशियल एनर्जी स्टोर हो रहा है हाफ क्यू भी तो आधा हाफ क्यू भी कहा गया तो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट एंड हीट एंड साउंड हीट साउंड लाइट जस्ट आई सो इन डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन सम साउंड इज जस्ट लाइक क्रिएटेड एंड लाइट इज ऑल्सो हीट मीन्स गर्म होता है आवाज निकलता है लाइट दिखता है दिस फिनोमेन रिड्यूस द फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ एनर्जी या वॉकडन एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी स्टोर्ड बाई ए कैपेसिटी कम्बिनेशन एंड ग्रुपिंग और ग्रुपिंग कम्बिनेशन और ग्रुपिंग ऑफ कैपेसिटर वेरी सिंपल एज यू रीड इन क्लास टेन फर्स्ट कम्बिनेशन इज सीरीज कम्बिनेशन वेरी सिंपल सीरीज कम्बिनेशन सीरीज कम्बिनेशन मीन्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज इन टू इंड कनेक्शन यस दिस वन इज सी वन दिस वन इज सी टू दिस वन इज सी थ्री सपोज दिस वन इज दी एन हेयर इज भी हेयर इज भी वन भी टू भी थ्री एंड हेयर इज भी वन वन थिंग हेयर इज ऑल्सो क्यू कैपेसिटर चार्ज इज एंड एवरी कैपेसिटर चार्ज इज क्यू दिस इज द मेन थिंग सेम चार्ज इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज एपियर देन द पॉइंट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन टू इंड कनेक्शन इन टू इंड कनेक्शन द बेस्ट थिंग इज द इन टू इंड मीन्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्लेट सेकेंड प्लेट देन फर्स्ट प्लेट इज कनेक्टेड विद द सेकेंड प्लेट एंड द सेमिलरली सेकेंड प्लेट फर्स्ट वन टू वन टू वन टू दिस टाइप ऑफ कनेक्शन इफ यू सी देन दिस दिस शुड बी अ सीरीज कम्बिनेशन एंड इन टू इंड कनेक्शन एंड इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज सेम नहीं इक्वल इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज एपियर इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज एपियर ऑन इच कैपेसिटर ऑन इच कैपेसिटर इच कैपेसिटर एंड दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज डिफरेंट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस भी वन भी टू भी थ्री भी एन पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज डिफरेंट और If capacitance of each capacitor is same, then it be it will be uh, distributed equally. Suppose that this is ten and each capacitance has equal value, then equal amount of potential is distributed. But in this case, if capacitor is different, then potential is also different. Okay? Then you may remember it. And this is V. Suppose that V is equal to this V is. V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus so on Vn and this V is V1 means Q equal to C B just you know Q equal to C B then V equal to what Q by C then here is Q by C S C S means C S means equivalent 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 capacitance. कैपेसिटेंस इन सीरीज कम्बिनेशन इन सीरीज कम्बिनेशन इन सीरीज कम्बिनेशन देन सी एस क्यू बाई सी वन प्लस क्यू बाई सी टू प्लस क्यू बाई सी थ्री एंड सो ऑन क्यू बाई सी एन एंड जस्ट गेट कॉमन एंड सी एस इक्वल टू वन बाई सी वन प्लस वन बाई सी टू प्लस वन बाई सी थ्री एंड सो ऑन वन बाई सी एन दिस इज योर desired equation this is your desired equation <clears throat> if for equation for two two capacitor if you want to two only two capacitor then 1 by cs equal to 1 by c1 plus then you may use the formula c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 this okay two capacitor for three capacitor three capacitors then 1 by cs is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 then it becomes 1 by cs c1 c2 c3 then this is c1 then c2 c3 here is the c1 c3 
here is the C1, C2. Then you may write C1, C2, C3 by C1, C2. C1, C2 plus C2, C3. C2, C3 plus C1, C3. You may write in the form of this. And one more case is if identical. Identical means identical means C1. Identical capacitor for identical capacitor C1 equal to C2 equal to C3 and so on and it equal to C let then Cs equal to Cyl then this is the series combination I will discuss more numericals in next video okay because lots of cases in this case and that's why I think another video I will upload it and that time I will discuss more. And the second thing is parallel combination. Second thing is parallel combination. One capacitor is as like this. Oh, okay. And other capacitor as like this. And another capacitor as like this. And more is added as like this. And a battery is needed to connect. Okay. This time. And this cell as you know. This is the plus, this is the minus, a small is minus and this one is the plus. And this is C1, this is C2, this is C3, this is C4. And the potential difference between these two is V. Nothing different. Potential difference is common. The main point here is potential difference across each, resist, each capacitor, each capacitor is common, not same. Here is the common. Common means in all capacitor the potential difference is Va minus Vb and that's why the main पहचानने का सबसे बढ़िया तरीका है कि जितने भी capacitor हो उसके बीच का potential difference common होना चाहिए अगर common नहीं होता है तो फिर आप उसको parallel कहें कहेंगे कि नहीं कहेंगे वो अलग method से हम लोग decide करेंगे लेकिन अगर common दिख जाए तो इसका मतलब वो parallel है इतता है तो आप इसको हम डिफाइन करेंगे लेकिन चार्ज सब पे अलग-अलग होगा इस पे चार्ज q1 होगा तो किसी पर चार्ज q2 होगा किसी पे चार्ज q3 होगा किसी पे चार्ज q4 होगा या qn होगा और यहां से चार्ज जो निकल रहा है वो आपका q है मतलब बटा कौन है द q द q1 q2 q3 एंड सो ऑन qn q इक्वल टू c v मतलब cp v और दिस इज द c1 v plus C2 V plus C3 V and so on Cn V. Potential difference common and that's why I have written here V. Potential difference is common. Then the equation becomes Cp. Cp means equivalent resistance in equivalent resist sorry equivalent capacitance capacitance in parallel combination in parallel combination means cp is equal to c1 plus c1 plus c2 plus c3 and so on cn this is the main formula of capacitance in parallel and one thing only case is c1 equal to c2 equal to c3 and this one is c means identical in the case of identical cp equal to nc the next topic is common potential common potential means suppose consider a capacitor of capacitance c1 is charged with the potential difference v1 this is the v1 and charge appears on this is q1 and another capacitor is also charged by the potential v2 by the potential V2. This is the C2 and the charge appear is Q2. And when both capacitors are connected as like this, means parallel combination, as like this, then the potential becomes common, known as V. And this V is called common potential. This is the common, sorry, uh, common potential. This is called common potential. This is C1, this is C2, okay? Then charge, from conservation of charge, from conservation of 
चार्ज Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Okay, the charge is Q1 plus Q2. And Q is equal to suppose that this is the Q1 C1 V1 plus what C2 V2. And this is the Q equal to Cp. Say Q C V. Then this is the, then V1 is V and V2 is V because this is the common potential means cp v equal to means common potential is equal to c1 v plus c2 v by what cp v common potential here is c1 is used 1 and 2 this is the formula of common potential v is the common potential c1 v1 plus c2 v2 by cp v but next thing is loss of energy loss of energy in this process initial energy is u1 plus u2 u1 for this and u2 for this and then initial energy is 1 by c1 v1 square plus 1 by 2 c2 v2 square okay and the final energy this is the final energy this is the initial energy final energy is equal to 1 by 2 cp v square v square is the v is the common potential v is the common potential and that is why here cp means 1 by 2 c1 c2 inside bracket and v is c1 v1 plus c2 v2 by cp v means uh, this is cp not cp v cp Cp means uh, C, this is the formula C1 V1 plus C2 V2 by C1 plus C2. This is the formula. And here C1, C2 and whole square. This. And the definition is more difficult. Just uh, I am trying to derive it 1 by 2 C1 plus C2. And this is the C1 V1 plus C2 V2 whole square upon C1 plus C2. It is the whole square 1 and 1 cancel off. And this becomes 1 by 2. Okay. C1 V1 a square plus C2 a square V2 a square plus 2 C2 2 C1 C2 V1 v2 by c1 plus c2 then loss of energy means this is the loss of energy del u loss of energy loss of energy means initial energy minus final energy means 1 by 2 c1 v1 square plus 1 by 2 C2 V2 square minus which form 1 by 2 Cp V square. This is the loss of energy and need more calculation. Just like this delta U is delta U is this delta U is 1 by 2 C1 V1 square plus 1 by 2 c2 v2 square minus 1 by 2 okay cp v square cp v square means this result this result i am i am going to write the result final result of which half cp v square then this is minus 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 C1 means just like this 2 C1 C2 and C1 square V1 square plus C2 square V2 square plus 2 C1 C2 V1 V2 this equation okay now C1 plus C2 is LCM then I am trying to write C1 this is C1 V1 
स्क्वायर इन टू सी वन प्लस सी टू प्लस सी टू भी टू स्क्वायर इन टू सी वन प्लस सी टू माइनस सी वन स्क्वायर भी वन स्क्वायर माइनस सी टू स्क्वायर भी टू स्क्वायर माइनस माइनस टू सी वन सी टू भी वन भी टू दिस इज बिग क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज द सी वन प्लस सी टू and this becomes 1 by 2 c1 into c1 means c1 square v1 square okay plus c1 c2 v1 square again c2 c1 c2 v2 square plus c2 square v2 square minus c1 square v1 square minus C two square V two square minus two C one C two V one V two upon C one plus C two. This is the equation. C one this one is the plus this one is the minus cancel out. This one is the minus this one is plus cancel out and this is the C one C two V one square. The equation becomes one by two C one C two v one square plus C one C two v two square minus two C one C two v one v two. This okay? Then C one C two is common out. C one C two then v one square plus v two square minus two v one v two. Then loss of energy is equal to one by two C one C two. And this is the v one minus v two to the whole square. This is the loss of energy during the sharing of charge. During the loss of energy, this is the loss of energy during sharing of charge. During sharing of charge. दो कैपेसिटर को अगर हम पैरल कर देंगे चार्ट करने के बाद फुली चार्ट करने के बाद तो जो लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी होगा वह लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी वन बाई टू सी वन सी टू हाउ वन थिंग इज मिसिंग हेयर विच वन इज मिसिंग हेयर इज मिसिंग सी वन प्लस सी टू सी वन प्लस सी टू दिस वन इज मिसिंग सी वन प्लस सी टू वेरी बी एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज मिस ंग outer outer sphere is r outer sphere is r hum log iska do case padhenge ek outer sphere mein padhenge outer ko art karenge aur dusra ko inner ko art karenge hum log yahan bhi outer ko art kar rahe hain matlab ek sphere hai uske hum outer body ko hum isko art kar diye theek aur inner jo sphere hai isko par charge hum kitna diye q charge diye simple इस पर हम इसका नाम भी दे देते हैं दिस वन इज द ए दिस वन इज द बी एंड द रेडियस ऑफ दिस इज ए एंड द रेडियस ऑफ बी ओके बिग स्पेयर एंड द इंड्यूस चार्ज इज माइनस वन एंड ऑल पॉजिटिव चार्ज जस्ट न्यूट्रलाइज बाय मूविंग द इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द अर्थ नाउ फॉर फाइंडिंग द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ दिस कैपेसिटर टू फाइंड द फर्स्ट सीक्वल टू Q by V. This is the important thing. V has the charge Q, but V is the potential difference between potential difference between a sphere A and B. Means in this region, in this region, in this region, in this region, the potential difference. Potential difference for finding the potential difference between these. I consider a point suppose that P and make Gaussian surface. This is the Gaussian surface. 
this is the Gaussian surface. Gaussian surface. Okay. And the electric field at this point is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. As you know, because electric field due to electric E electric field due to B, we say how we can B electric field due to due to a sphere B is 0. Why? Inside the sphere, the electric field is 0. This point is inside the outer sphere and that's why here electric field is 0 due to this, this, this surface. Okay? And the only electric field is this one is the plus Q uh, here is the only electric field at this point is due to the this sphere this is the electric field due to only electric field due to only due to only inner sphere inner sphere as you know from the relation E equal to what dv by dr then dv equal to E dr then E equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by Q by R square and this is the dr. I have taken only magnitude actually the relation is E equal to minus dv by dr and I consider only uh, magnitude and this is the positive charge which is given or by the method conducting method and this is the dv and the total potential difference is integration of dv means 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r minus 2 dr integration from a to b from a this this is the a from a to b yahan se yahan tak matlab is point se is point tak jo potential difference hoga usi ko hum log v kahenge this is the potential difference between the two spheres this is called potential difference and this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 this is a this is b and this is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r minus 1 by minus 1 just interchanging the upper limit and lower limit just removing the minus sign okay this one is the b here is b here is a then potential becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q 1 by a minus 1 by b this is the potential difference between the two spheres now the relations from relation q equal to cb q equal to cb c equal to q by b and that's by q by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q into 1 by a minus 1 by b this one this one is cancel out and that's why 1 by uh, in upper side 4 pi epsilon naught and this is the a b and this one is the b minus a then capacitance is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught a b by b minus a this and this capacitance depends upon capacitance depends upon depends upon the radius and size and size of a sphere now case 2 when inner a sphere is earth inner a sphere is earth second case inner a sphere is earth means consider a sphere and inside the sphere is another sphere of radius a and this is the radius b okay and this is earth the main thing is this this is not connected just an arrangement this is earth means this a this b and charge is given to the outer sphere then induced charge is minus or plus b will decide further okay q dash this is the potential means the potential of a should be 0 
equal to zero because it is earth moon. This is the main point. Potential is zero of this. But mathematically, the mathematically the potential at A is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q dash by A because at surface it is constant and inside the sphere this one is also one by four pi epsilon naught q by B because inside the sphere the poten the potential is here also for means V A is potential for V A and potential for V B. V B inside the constant that's why one by four turn q by b this is but this is zero according to this because it is it is earth then zero then becomes one by four pi epsilon naught q dash by a plus one by four pi epsilon naught q by b and it becomes q dash by a equal to minus q by b and that's why q dash is equal to minus a by b into q this is very important things this is very important things here the charge is different the charge is different hence it is not a capacitor the main thing of capacitor is the charge on both plates is same that is called capacitor but here charge is different here charge on both cap plates both spheres on both spheres are different are different hence it, it hence it, it is not capacitor it is not capacitor but we can find the cap value of capacitance we can find the value of capacitance yes it is not a uh, capacitor but we can find the capacitance how then electric field is equal to electric field at point P. Electric field at point P means electric field due to A plus electric field due to B is equal to electric field due to A is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q dash by R square and electric field B is 0 and that's why 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q dash is Q dash is minus minus A by B into Q, okay? And this is 1 by R square. And as you know, e, uh, dv, uh, dv equal to minus E dr. Here, I am using minus sign because minus is already here. And that's why, so minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, then uh, minus A B into Q, 1 by R square. Then minus minus plus, then dv is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q A by B into R square, R square B, R square B. And total potential is integration of dv means, and this is dr, this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q A by B R minus 2 dr this from a to b now 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q a by b is r minus 1 by minus 1 this is a b just you reverse the upper limit and lower limit then minus sign 1 by r it is reversed b and a then equation of b is the equation of V is V becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q A B and 1 by A minus 1 by B. Okay. Then Q equal to C B as you know Q equal to as you know Q equal to C B then C equal to Q by V is equal to Q by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q A by B and 1 by A minus 1 by B Q Q cancel out then becomes 4 pi epsilon naught and uh, this one is the B by A and here is A B and this is B minus A and this becomes C is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught B square by 
a into b minus a because a and a cancel out that's why b minus a here you remember you you can see that this is the capacitance in this case means if inner surface is earth and if outer surface is earth then equation is 4 pi epsilon naught a b by b minus a and here c i is i think greater than c naught means in this case capacitance is more than previous case okay this is the cylindrical things this is the plus charge this is the minus charge and this one is earth okay and this radius is from this to this is a and from this to this is b and some here is the r this is consider this is the center this is the r and here is the point p and the similarly same thing the potential is d equal to e dr okay the potential is e dr as you know phi is equal to q by epsilon naught and e, e, e into pi r square 2 pi r l area 2 pi r l equal to q by epsilon naught then e is equal to q by 2 pi r l into epsilon naught and that's why i am written here q by 2 pi r l epsilon naught into di then total potential is integration of dv and then q by 2 pi epsilon naught l is pull out from the integration from a to p and it becomes dr by r dr by r and dx by x integration is what integration is log e x and this is the log e r from a to b this is simple then q by 2 pi epsilon naught l then log e b minus log e a okay this is the mathematical term. and this is the q by 2 pi epsilon naught l and log e b by a and now as you know the relation q equal to c b then c equal to q by b then q is this and b is 2 uh, uh, b is q by q by 2 pi epsilon naught l and log e b by a q and q is cancel out then c is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught l by log e b by a this is the value and you may convert in log 10 then c equal to 2 pi epsilon naught l upon 2.303 log b by a you can write it thank you all about the capacitors and i will provide a new video uh, for the numericals of grouping and uh, series and parallel and capacitors and uh, different different types of dielectrics and more